Hi guys, good evening. So I wanted to go ahead and do a live, sorry, and um, do a quick do-it-yourself glitter ornament um, for some of the do-it-yourselfers that we have following us. Um, I've, um, these are really cute. Um, they're easy. Um, I actually sell these. I have many, many people who love to buy these from me. Um, but they're great to make. They're great, like, um, do-it-yourself ornament project. If you want to do all of your ornaments for your tree glittered, or if you want to um, have a great project with your kids, or if you just want to try it for yourself. So, um, we are going. I don't know how my connection is where I'm at. I'm in my basement. So we will see what we get. So what you'll need, I was just looking, um, a few things that you'll need to do the ornament is uh, plastic ornaments. You can also use glass, but in my household, we prefer to do um, plastic shatterproof. <coughs> Sorry, I'm still getting over my uh, sickness. I had... Um, my household has been hit with everything, so we're just on the end of recovering, <clears throat> and I'm recovering from uh, bronchitis, so hey, it's not fun, guys. You don't want it. Um, so anyways, if I cough, excuse me for that. Um, so anyways, so um, you can get these in sh any shape, <clears throat> basically, or size. You can do the round or the disc. I love the disc ones. I just like the way that they look. And it makes um, applying a decal much easier. So that's kind of that's kind of why I go with this. They make them bigger. You can go smaller. Um, whatever, whatever you want to do. Uh, polycrylic, and you're gonna want um, <clears throat> clear, clear gloss. You want the clear gloss. <laughs> you <laughs> you want the clear so that it does not dull the shine of the glitter that's going to go inside your ornament. And then of course you want um, glitter. I have all kinds of colors. You can get a pack like this at like Michael's or you can get, I have really big jars of just one color. If you're going to do like 20 of the same thing, um, you can get it at Michael's. <clears throat> and of course any ribbon. Um, this is not the ribbon that's going on the ornament that we're making, but I would just want to show you any kind of um, ribbon that suits your fancy. And this, I have one over here, um, blue with the white, which this is my favorite stuff. It goes with anything. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do this. Let me get some paper mm -hmm. real quick. Then I have everything out that I needed. Hopefully you guys are having a much better week than I am. Uh, like I said, um, all five of us got sick. I have three littles, um, all eight years old and under, and every, everybody caught something. And <laughs> it started in Thanksgiving. Like the week before Thanksgiving, we came down with um, like one head chicken pox, one head strep. Um, my husband had like an upper respiratory infection. And then they all, everyone recovered, it seemed like. And then last week, bronchitis hit me and my husband. Double ear infection for the baby. It's just nasty going around. It's crazy. So you're going to pop the top off of your plastic ornament. Lay it down. Put it down there for later. And then this guy. This, guys, these are so easy. Um, and this might get messy too. Uh, everybody does this step different. So I want to pause and say... Um, for this step, everyone does differently. You're probably easier to use something with a four spout. This is, I just use it out of the jar and make a mess because I'm a messy crafter. <laughs> so, um, uh, I use Minwax Polycrylic Clear so that it doesn't all the shine. And some people actually, I'll tell you that I'm doing this, there are some people out there who, and even Pinterest pins that are saying, you can use mop and glow. Um, there is an agent in it that does make it stick, but over time, you're not going to get the same results. So I actually recommend 
I know Mothma Glow is cheap or whatever, but this is $9. It lasts forever. So I would try something like that. So you're going to put it in here. I love that this is that milky white so that you can see where you're swirling it. I just, it's so simple. Swirl, swirl. And make sure that you get all of the edges. And then just drain it. You can drain it in this. Um, you can drain it in a cup. I have a wide mouth cup I use when I'm doing a lot of them. <clears throat> and you want it to stop dripping. Because if you put your glitter in before, it's going to drip down the sides and take the glitter with it. Ask me how I know. <laughs> so We're going to set that aside. Now we're going to pick a color glitter. So I'm going to pull these bad boys out. I lost one of my lights. Hold on. Okay. So um, I'm going to pull these out. See what kind of colors we get. We have all kinds. I don't even know. Kind of spilled them. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see what I have enough of. It's probably going to be purple. Which is kind of funny because that's exactly what I'm wearing today. Hmm. Sorry, technical stuff gets, you know, okay, so <clears throat> we're going to look at this, it almost goes clear, goes back to clear when it all comes out, I'm just going to tap on it, a lot of times if I'm doing four or five of these um, for orders or whatever, what I do is I just swirl a bunch of them, drain a bunch of cups, egg cartons, whatever works for you guys, whatever you can find. This has actually never been opened before, I don't think. So I'm gonna have to bust the bust the plastic out of it. Which is probably gonna be best with scissors. Where did that one go? Okay. I'll do it this way then. These are tricky. I just prefer poor spot ones, but did not expect it to go flying. Okay. Boom. That's exactly what I wanted. There it is. And that's going to pop out just so that I can pour my glitter. Um, you could probably pour it from here, but I imagine that would make a nice big fat mess. Um, so I'm going to take it and dump it. You're just going to dump. I'm going to put it right here in front of you guys. There. And you can put more. Like I'm totally okay with the more. A lot of people they put just you know red instructions just do a little bit here or there. Um, I go big um, only because I don't want to sit here and fiddle faddle with a bunch of ornaments. Um, even though it's super duper easy, I don't want to put like a little teaspoon in and then I'm like trying to coat it and it's not working. This is so much easier because you can reuse the glitter that's inside here. It's like really quiet in my house, which is weird. My husband ran an errand and all three of my kids are in bed. They're not asleep because I can hear them, but this is the quietest it's been all day. I went and shut the TV off too. Okay, so um, piece of paper here, just fold it up, cardboard, whatever you want to use. You're going to cover the top and the rest of it you're going to shake down. Before I was doing the rolling motion, that was covering the sides. That's easier for me. You're going to figure out what's easiest for you, but at any rate, it's a little glue and glitter. <laughs> so then you're going to, I don't know if you can see, you're literally going to dump this out onto a sheet of paper. You can flick it. That way it gets all the loose ones out. And if by chance the lid comes off, you don't have a bunch of loose glitter all over your floor. So 
So it's going to sit just like this. It's nice and bright and glittery. And it's a uh, different purple than what you guys see. But you're just going to lay it flat a few hours or overnight, whatever works. And then once that dries, you're going to put your top in. You could do it now, but <clears throat> sometimes when you do that, you scratch the glue and glitter off the top. Not a big deal if you're adding a bow, and you can cover that. If you're not going to add a, <clears throat> sorry, a bow, then you probably want to just wait until it dries. So I'm just going to put, take this lid off and put this glitter back. Just like when you were in school <laughs> and you had art projects. Just fold your paper. So the glitter actually lasts a lot longer than you would think, as well as the polycrylic, because everything gets dumped back and reused, which is incredible. So they're actually pretty cheap to make. They are um, pretty affordable to do. They're fast to do. All the good stuff that you want. Now, for this particular ornament, I'm going to put a decal on it. Um, if you don't have a commercial grade cutting machine, like a Cricut, a Silhouette, um, there's like 5 million other brands that make them, then you can order decals from us actually, um, and we can send you decals, um, three bucks guys. So we're going to let that dry a minute and let me get my, I'm going to cut this. This is my transfer tape actually contact paper so clear contact paper this stuff is so you can use it for so much I feel like it's way more useful in this arena making ornaments stuff like that than putting it on shelves <coughs> hey two in one you figure out how to do a transfer as well so the, put the sticky side down onto here, onto your decal, and I'm going to go over it with my little tool here that will help. <laughs> you can use a butter knife, a popsicle stick, a penny, you can use anything that you have. You peel that up, this is the sticky side to the decal, this is not. So I'm going to lay this down and put the princess crown over it and center. Okay. And then I'm just going to get the wrinkles out as best as I can. Sometimes you have to lift it back up. Sometimes you don't. Um, I'm also going to be making uh, one of these with a name to go over the top. I just didn't do a name yet. <clears throat> and you can peel that back and smooth out your little wrinkles or bubbles. And sometimes you'll get wrinkles. Um, heat helps that, like a blow dryer, something like that. <clears throat> sometimes the decal can be too big, so you want to size it the right way. So there is the princess crown. On a purple glittered ornament we're gonna add a name later but I'm gonna go see if I can actually find my bow my ribbon bow and get a bow put on it because I love there's nothing better than glitter and bows together if you're like my eight-year-old anyways and she has pretty good taste for an eight year old. Her taste is pretty impeccable. Okay. So, I'm gonna step away for two things that I forgot. So the only other thing that you're going to need, hot glue gun, which they're like, they're a love-hate relationship. 
Hot glue is amazing because it is quick and you don't have to wait. But if you've ever um, burned your fingertips and taken your fingerprints off, it's horrible. We're gonna let that warm up. I found some pretty iridescent, um, nothing special. This is just the way I tie, this is the weird way I tie bows, guys. Who else does bunny ears? I get made fun of all the time for this, but I don't really care. I've been doing that way since I was five and it works, so why stop? <clears throat> tie your bow. <clears throat> also, if you're watching this and there's something that you guys want to see us make, or you want to learn how to make, go ahead and put that in the comment section and tell us because we are going to be doing rolling out um, way more tutorials. We're also um, going to be doing um, lives quite often and eventually teach how to's. But I need to know what you guys want to make. What What are you into? Like, do you want to do ornaments all the time? Do you want, um, do you like signs, like wood signs? Um, do you need to learn how to paint something or stencil or, I mean, there's a billion things we can do. Okay. I'm just being a perfectionist right now with my bow. Okay. I'm going to see if this thing has heated up any. <laughs> okay, so we're going to hot glue this on here in a second. <clears throat> and now I'll show you the blue one. It has no decal on it though. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse me. So it's missing one. But you can see the glitter, the blue, and it's dry. This thing has been made for like two weeks. I just haven't put anything on it yet. And then the bow. So, there's that. <laughs> this thing is taking forever. And who else has actually have, has their Christmas decorations done? <laughs> I was like, that's it <clears throat> this year. I'm decorating before Thanksgiving. Did not happen did not happen guys I was so sad I wanted my tree up I wanted everything decorated I was like we're doing this Thanksgiving week no everybody got sick we were just lucky that we were surviving hmm <laughs> okay so that's still warming up so like I said you can do any color let me see. <laughs> I'm going to show you something else. So you're not sitting there bored. So this is like um, silver. Actually, this one has a little saying on it. I can't get my tis the season to sparkle. Who doesn't love tis the season to sparkle? Glitter, guys. Glitter. <laughs> Merry and bright gold classic gold and red let me tell you something I have a red ah here it is merry and bright I am sitting here thinking I'm making red and gold and I'm like it's like is this dated no 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 like I cannot get over and even red on this one looks amazing these classic um, glitter glam it's I love it and did you guys hear that they're actually considering banning glitter? Do you know how awful that is? <laughs> I'm so sad. Okay. And this one, this was one I made for my son. He custom designed this one for himself. He's six. Um, he picked the color, the decal, the font. He wanted his name and everything. He's stinking kind of a perfectionist, too. <laughs> <laughs> you don't realize that you're getting many versions of yourself exactly when you have them. Okay. We're good here. So, I mean, that's all I needed was a tiny bit. 
red plaid. Yeah. <laughs> I know what to put on your Christmas list. Okay. So glue that on. That's it. That's all it is. So there's your do-it-yourself glittered <laughs> Christmas ornament. And if you are interested in um, learning about all kinds of other things, um, tell us what you want to know about. I hope you enjoyed this little live tutorial on how to make your own ornament. I hope you saw how easy it was. Um, it didn't take very long at all for me to sit here and uh, just make one. I could have done probably four in the time that we were sitting here. Um, but it's it's a great home project. It's a great like creative craft to do with your kids. It's easy. This stuff is not going to harm them. So it's not like super glue where you're going to end up with your hands glued together or anything crazy. So um, I hope you have a wonderful evening and a, actually and an even better Christmas that's coming up. So have a wonderful night, guys, and thanks for watching.